English speaking course. You will change your mind. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Jeremy. Whoa, a big bouquet. These flowers and gifts are for. Oh, I remember. Today is Professor Mary's birthday. Are these for her? No, no. No? Yeah, today is the teacher's birthday. However, this bouquet and gift are not for her. Oh, well. I have something to tell you. What is it? I'd like to know what you think about me. Ah,、oh, Jeremy, you are a nice guy. You are always ready to help people. Why do you ask like that? Thanks. Well, I want to say I like you. Thank you for liking me. I'd like to know if you consider me to be your boyfriend. Well, is this question too sudden? I've liked you for a very long time. Today, I want to let you know how much you mean to me. Listen, Jeremy, you are not my type. What do you mean? Well, your looks don't attract me. Do you mean I'm fat? Well, you're a bit fat, yes. I think you will look very handsome if you lose weight. But. Hands, now, I can't accept being your girlfriend. I promise I will lose weight. You should do that. If you don't lose weight, no one will love you. All right, I have to go. Goodbye. What's up, bro? Hello, Charlie. You look so sad today. What's wrong with you? Today, I confess to Roxanne. Well done, bro. What is the result? Roxanne said she wouldn't agree to date me because of my looks. She said if I don't lose weight, no one will love me. What? Why did she say that? Yes, oh, I'm so sad. Well, I thought with sincere affection, Roxanne would agree to be my girlfriend, but she only cares about looks. Do not say that. You don't look ugly. You have a kind heart. Thank you for your encouragement. I believe you will find someone more suitable for you and love you for who you are. But, you know, I've liked Roxanne since five years ago. My love for her is very strong. I thought carefully if she likes it, I will change myself. I will work hard to get in shape. I will change to be the person she wants. <sighs> you are so headstrong. However, I am your best friend. I will help you. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. So, what do I need to do first? I think you should go to the gym. What will I do there? There will be a trainer, they will guide you. You're right. Yeah, and your trainer will give you tips on eating. With a combination of eating better and exercising, you will lose weight. That's amazing. Moreover, the best advice I can give you is to change your eating habits. How to? Instead of eating three times a day, you will eat five times a day. That doesn't make sense. If you eat more, then how do you lose weight? Actually, you will eat the same amount. You will eat five smaller meals a day. Basically, it naturally speeds up the metabolism. And helps to burn fat at a faster rate. Whoa, I got it. I'm going to try that. Thanks for the advice. 
No problem. Two years later. You are looking so much happy. Any good news? Yeah, you are right. My dad just gave me a new car. Whoa, great! Anyway, have you planned what to do this summer? Well, I haven't had any plan yet. How about you? I'm planning on volunteering this summer. I want to be a helpful person. That sounds amazing. Can I join you? Of course you can. That will be a lot more fun. Do you have any other plans? Actually, I want to learn another language. Really? What language do you want to learn? Definitely Spanish. Excuse me? Yes? How can I help you? May I have your number? My phone number? Yes, you are so cute. Thanks. Here you are. May I know your name? My name is Roxanne. Nice name. I will contact you. Bye. Oh, Roxanne, he looks so handsome. I also want him to ask for my number. I forgot to ask his name, but... But what? I think I've seen him somewhere, but I don't remember. Yeah, he looks a bit like... Ah! Like Jeremy. That's right. It's Jeremy. Jeremy? Don't you remember him? He confessed to you two years ago. Oh, I remember. Two faces are actually quite similar. Or he really is Jeremy. No way. He can't change that fast. Nothing is impossible. Hello, Roxanne. He's calling. It's Jeremy. I met you at the coffee shop this afternoon. Oh, hello! Turns out your name is Jeremy. I once knew someone with that name. So, what are you doing? I'm watching movies. Which movie is that? Stranger Things. I'm a huge fan of that series. Really? Me too. I watched all the seasons. The series was amazing. Anyway, are you free tomorrow? Yes. So? Do you want to go to the movies with me tomorrow? Well, what movie are we going to watch? Attack from Planet Q. Hey, your taste in movies surprised me. Do you also like sci-fi movies? Yes, especially movies about aliens. Jeremy? Yes? Have we met before? Why are you asking that? You look like someone I know. Is your acquaintance as handsome as me? <laughs> you are funny, but he's not handsome like you. Okay, so will you come with me tomorrow? Yes, I will. So, see you tomorrow at 5 p.m.? Okay, see you. That movie was really good. Right? That movie is very good. Shall we go to dinner now? Okay. I know a French restaurant nearby. The food is delicious. I'm sure you will love it. Well then, let's go now.
All right, what do you want to eat? I'll have the medium rare beef steak and a salad. Okay, we will have stew steaks, medium rare, and a salad. What would you like to drink? Lemon juice, please. One lemon juice for this beautiful lady, and a glass of wine for me. You seem to go here often? The owner of this restaurant is my brother. That explains it. Jeremy, I've been thinking about this. Have we met before? Yes, we have met before. You don't remember who I am? I have a face in my head, but I can't ensure that it, it's you. Okay, actually, I'm... Hey, isn't that Roxanne? Yeah, right, that's her. Who's sitting with her? That is probably Jeremy. Jeremy? Jeremy who? My twin from college. Oh, I remember. But he looks so different now. Right? He was thin, small, and feeble back then. People often joke that he and I are twins because his face looks so much like mine. But now, he looks extremely handsome. And elegant. And you know, he also confessed to Roxanne. Really? But of course, she refused. Roxanne only likes handsome people. He must have worked out really hard to successfully change himself like this. If you were persistent before... Well, the time when I tried to work out and diet, I realized that my love for food was bigger than my love for her. I won't change myself for anyone. I'll find someone who has the same love for food as me. That is seriously what I told you before. Hi, my name is Self Introduction. Good morning, my name is Raymond Smith. It is my pleasure to meet you, Mr. Smith. I'm here for the 2 p.m. job interview for the customer care staff role. Nice to meet you. I'm the person who will interview you today. Please, take a seat. Sure. Please, tell me about yourself. Thank you for giving me a wonderful opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Bruce Harrison. I'm from Chicago. I'm 24 years old. I graduated from Chicago College in 2020. What major did you study? I studied business administration. What did you do after graduation? I have spent the last two years developing my skills as a customer service staff for Delta Inc. I have won several performance awards there. I love solving customer problems. Your growth opportunities there are so good Why you're here. Although I love my current role, I feel I'm now ready for a more challenging assignment. And this position really excites me. What's your work style? I tend to do my best work when I'm collaborating with my colleagues toward a common goal. What are your income expectations? I'm looking for somewhere between 25000 and 30000 annually for this role. When can you start? I'll be happy to come on board with the team here next Monday. Do you have any questions? Can you tell me more about the job? You will handle customer complaints, provide solutions, and follow up to ensure resolution. Keep records of customer interactions, build relationships and trust with customers, take the extra mile to engage customers, I understand. Thank you. Do you want to ask 
Anything else? I have no more question. So, thank you for coming to the interview. We will email the results to you in a few days. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed. I look forward to hearing from you. Did you have an interview yesterday? Yes, and I worry about that. Why? You prepared a lot for that interview. I know. So, what are you worried about? I'm not confident about some of my answers. What answers? The salary. I don't know if I asked too low for income. What position did you interview for? Customer care staff? What do you mean too low? They might think that my ability was only like that. Don't think too much. You need to relax. How can I relax? I have a friend. She is Helen. She will throw a pool party at her house this Saturday. Would you like to join me? No thanks, Mike. I'm not in the mood for any party now. The company emailed me. What do they say? I passed the interview. I'm hired. Congratulations. I will go to work on Monday. So, who's ready for a pool party? Let's go. That's the spirit. Hey there, beautiful. What's up? Hey, Mike. How's it going? This is an amazing party. Thanks. So, who is this handsome guy? Ah, oh, he's my roommate. Hi, I'm Helen. Good to see you. It was lovely meeting you, Helen. I'm Bruce. Mike and I were classmates in high school. Mike have told me about you. I've been staying with Mike for over a year now. That's great. Do you like the party? I love it. This is actually my first time at a pool party. Hey, I have a way to get to know each other better. Can you tell a fun fact about yourself, Bruce? Me? Yeah, this will be fun. Well, when I was a kid, I loved elephants. I used to think of going into the jungle to live with the elephants. <laughs> really? Yes. Do I look like an elephant to you, Bruce? <laughs> After growing up, I realized that it was impractical. I can just go to the zoo to see them. That was a good choice. What's your fun fact, Helen? I can speak five different languages. English, Spanish, Italian, Chinese, and French. No way. Trust me, she can. You're amazing. Thank you. Now, my fun fact. Okay. I'm 24, but I look 14. What? Whenever I meet new people and talk about my age, they become very surprised. I know why they are surprised. Because they think you're 44 years old. Oh, that's true. Hey, that's not true. I need to say hello to some friends. Sure. It's been fun talking with you guys. Nice to talk to you too. Enjoy yourself. I'll be back. I just saw my ex there. I need to say hello to her. Are you serious? 
I came to say that I have a new girlfriend. You stupid liar. Good evening, beauty. Good evening. By the way, I'm Bruce. I'm Sarah. How did you know Helen? We learned boxing together. Wow, that's cool. You must be very strong. Um, okay. So how did you know Helen? I just met her tonight. My roommate is her best friend. Hey, why aren't you dancing? I'm not good at dancing. I don't think so. Look at your curves and your body. If you dance, it will be great. Excuse me? You look very sexy. Let's dance together. No thanks. But your arm have too much muscle. It's not pretty at all. It's because you practice boxing a lot? It's none of your business. Now you really look like a man. Hey, watch your mouth. My mouth is fine. It's your arms that are wrong. What are you doing? How does it feel being punched by a girl? A girl? You are more than a man. Bruce? If you don't shut up, I'll punch you again. I won't shut up, Mr. Sarah. So one punch is not enough, huh? Oh, please, Sarah. He's drunk. Good morning, everyone. Give me a few minutes, please. This is Bruce. He's a new member of our team. Hello, everyone. My name is Bruce. I'm 24 years old. I'm a customer care staff. I'm eager to learn new things and willing to work in a team. Hope we help each other. Nice to meet you, Bruce. I'm Linda. I have been working here for six years. If you want to ask anything, you can ask me. I'm happy to help. Thank you, Linda. Nice to meet you. I'm John. I'm the supervisor. Welcome to our team. It's my honor to meet you. Now we will meet the head of the department. She is great, professional, and calm. I rarely see her angry. I can't wait to meet her. This is your boss, Sarah Elizabeth. <gasps> Hello, newbie. Topic. You rock. Daily English Expressions. Description. John, Tom, and Lucas are living in a flat, and they decided to use some tips to save money because the living cost is so high. Let's watch the video to see what they will do to save money. What are you reading? It's the electricity bill. Electricity bill? Well, it's time to pay the electricity and service bills. Yeah, really fast. Prices have gone up so much these days. I'm afraid we can't afford them anymore. Really? I still think it's normal. No, the electricity bill almost doubled. See? Oh my god, just thinking about it gives me a headache. I think we have to do something. 
nip it in the bud. But what measures? Cost savings. How can we do that? We need our rules in this house. I think it will be easy. We need to save water and save electricity. I'll see some tips on the internet. You rock. Let's start saving money. Let's give up the washing machine. We can use our hands. Great! And we are healthy, so we must be able to withstand heat well. Turn off the heater early in the morning. Yeah, I was asleep at that time, so I didn't know it was cold. We will do it for a month and see the results. I think we can save a lot of money. Try our best to do that. Right. Make sure we do all things rain or shine. Of course. Good. Oh, everyone looks tired this morning. <laughs> you look so funny, Tom. Look at your face. You are no different than me. Okay, I try to spice things up. No, Lucas, I can't sleep these days. Me too. Not only for one day, but also for nearly a week. This is the first time in my life that I have insomnia. I've slept very easily before. How can I sleep when I spend all night tossing and turning to think of ways to warm up? Yeah, I'm shivering. Because we have set the heater to turn off early in the morning. I know, so I have to wake up and wear more clothes. And I woke up to find a blanket to cover. I have to cover two blankets. Oh dear, I even do some exercises to warm up my body and go back to sleep. That sounds bad. Tonight, I will apply the method that I have read on the internet. What is that? Imagine you are in a warm place. You will feel warm. Will it work? I don't know, but I hope it will work. Maybe I have to imagine our house is a warm house 24-7. Too bad. Don't give up. It's all for our goal to save money. So far, so good. Okay. Tom, do you know where are my clothes? Don't you remember that we hang our clothes on the rooftop? Oh, right. I forget that. This thing is so new for me. Okay, from the day we decided not to use the washing machine to wash and spin dry, we wasted time washing by hands and drying our clothes on the rooftop. To save money, right? I know. Hey, where are our clothes? Yeah, where is it? I hang them here. Why is there only one hook? Was it ever windy and clothes were blown away? There's Lucas's shirt on the floor, over there. Oh my god, lost time, lost clothes, lost money. When it rains, it pours. What an awful day. So we lost our clothes? Right, no one can help us. Lucas, we lost our clothes, only your shirt. What are we gonna do now? I'm not sure, but I think they were blown away because of the wind. Normally, we never lose anything. I can't stand this situation anymore. Right? 
I'm so tired. I am ready to call it a day. No way! One month to save money! Don't forget that. Yay! Finally, we finish our campaign to save the cost of living. Campaign sounds too big. I just say that for fun. To celebrate that day, how about having a small party? Great! And party in a restaurant with a sea view. Is it okay? Sure. But we haven't had the electricity bill for that month. Anyways, just have a party. Good. Do you think we should continue some tips to save money like this month? I don't know, because we haven't known the bill for this month. The plan for saving money next month is still up in the air. Hey, Tom, Lucas, we have the bill for this month. Great, can't wait to see how much money we saved this month. I think we saved a lot of money. Me too. We didn't use the heater much, even the washing machine. Right? I've only washed by hand for a month, but I already feel like a washing machine. <laughs> You're so funny, Lucas. Now I can go with the flow. What is the result? How much did we save? Wait. We lost $100. What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Check this out. This month's electricity bill is nearly $500. What's going on? Is there something wrong? I can't wrap my head around this. How can it be wrong? So why do we spend more when we save? Give me the reasons for this ridiculous story. Who knows? All right, we will find the reason why it happened. Okay. I still wonder about that. There was only one reason that someone had secretly used electricity. Tom, are you? Why me? It's actually me. Huh? Really? Yeah, because I didn't wash my clothes to fly away, so I secretly machine washed and dried them. Okay, everything is clear now. Me too. More? I used a hot shower because I couldn't get used to cold showers. I'm sorry. You don't need to say sorry to me. Me too. Really? I have dried my hair many times. So that's clear. We all do that. So our plan failed? Well, not only do we not save, we spend more. This situation gets out of hand. Well, I have an idea. Let's be as usual. Just a little sense of saving. That's right. We have also learned a lesson. Every cloud has its silver lining. When prices go up, we know how to save. That's right. So will our plan continue? I don't think so. I agree. We don't need to do that, because everyone uses electricity more than normal. Right. It's essential to save money on daily expenses, but easier said than done. Okay, we can do it step by step. Family Life 1. Family Morning Routine Lana, wake up! Don't forget to do your bed! 
Mommy, are you making breakfast? What do we have today? We have salads, eggs, milk, and bread. Can I have some bacon also? Sure. Go to wash your face and brush your teeth first. Yeah, I see. Honey, help me to make a table. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna finish watering the garden. Did you do exercise today? Yeah, I did it. When did you get up? I got up at 5 a.m. today. Really? Why did you get up so early? Didn't you hear Plum bark so loud? No, not at all. Oh my, I can't sleep because of his voice. Then I woke up and walked him around. He may be hungry at that time. Not really. I fed him, but you see, he ate not much. Did you take a shower? Not yet. I'm going to take a bath now. Okay, quickly. Breakfast is almost done. Sure. Lana, quickly, I need to use the bathroom. Use the bathroom on the third floor. I still need to wash my hair. I need to go to school early today. Come on. I'm not done. Use the other. Oh my, who is that? What's up, Tony? I'm taking a shower. I need to use the toilet, Daddy. I can't bear anymore. Two minutes. Okay, quickly. I will go to get dressed and then come back in two minutes. Keep your words. Sure. Two. Breakfast time. Do you need my help, Mommy? Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. I don't have classes today, so I have time. Okay, good girl. What do we have today, Mom? Today we have waffles, sausages, sliced bacon, and milk. Can I prepare waffles? I love waffles. Okay, it's not too difficult to make a waffle. What should we do first? We should prepare the ingredients. Eggs, flour, milk, oil, sugar, salt, baking powder, and a bit of vanilla. There are too many things. I prepared them all over here. You just need to mix them all. Okay, but what exactly should I do first? Like, start with these eggs or flour or anything? Beat eggs in a large bowl with a hand beater until fluffy. Okay. I will try to crack the egg. Oops, mommy, help, help. The shell has dropped into the bowl. Oh my, let me help. Now, can you help me to open the flour bag over there? Then beat in flour, milk, vegetable oil, sugar, baking powder, salt, and vanilla. Just until smooth. Okay, it sounds easier. Oops, this bag is too hard to open. <laughs> Look at you. You should go to wash your face and your hands. I'm so sorry, Mom. I really want to help. But I think I'm just making trouble now. No, dear. I'm happy you are here with me. You should add two teaspoons of salt into that meat for me. Okay. No, no, the small spoon. Three, decorating the house. What are you doing? We are decorating our living room. But why? Daddy bought a new grandfather clock. And Mommy changed the curtains. Oh my. I love that curtains. Don't throw it away. 
I bought a new one, having color matched with the sofa. Look at it. It is more beautiful. Okay, it's up to you. Come here. Give me a hand. Okay. Where should we put the wing chair? Next to the sofa. Okay, what about the floor lamp? There's no space for it. Ah, put it next to the TV. Should we change the carpet also? Its color is so weird when it is put in the middle of the room. It's the best carpet we have. I will look for a new one later. If we leave the sofa here, is it too difficult to watch TV? Hmm, the TV should be moved to the right a bit. Okay, is it better now? Yeah. Daddy, I want to hang my painting here. Come on, Lana. No one wants to look at your painting. It matches the curtains. You see. That's a great idea, Lana. Four. Monthly bills. Honey, I received the electricity bill today. How much is it? It is higher than last month. Oh my. We also have a water and sewer bill that hasn't been paid yet. We need to pay for the internet next month, don't we? Yeah, it's next month, not this month. It will be a big amount. Yeah, I'm considering changing internet service. This one is so expensive. Let's check the connection speed first. Because Lana and Tony need to learn some online classes. I know. Tony asked me to let him join a gym club. Is the gym membership fee expensive? I don't know. I haven't asked him yet. I want to ask for your thoughts first. It's good for him to take part in a gym club. If the fee is not a huge amount, let him join. Okay. What should we do to save money? We have too many bills to pay monthly. We should cancel some services that we rarely use. I don't think there are any things like this. Such as Disney and Netflix. We should use only one of them. I see. I will ask Lana and Tony which they prefer. We should pay attention to electricity and water as well. Yeah. Sometimes we forget to turn off the light when we went out. Okay. Five. Doing household chores. I need to go to the supermarket now, honey. What? We still have many food in our refrigerator. Because today, the supermarket has a sale program for loyal customers. I want to go there and buy something. Okay, I will water the garden while waiting for you. You should remind Lana and Tony to do the household chores as well. Sure, no worries. Before watering, I think you should sweep the falling leaves. Yeah, I know, no worries. Lana, what are you doing? I am painting. You should do your bed now. Then vacuum the floors. Yeah, two minutes. I want to complete this picture first. Okay. Tony, Lana did laundry. You should hang them on. Okay, Dad. Clean your windows as well. They are a bit dirty. Sure. Lana, can you help me to wash the dishes? No way. Today is your turn. I have to repair my bike. I need to use it this afternoon. You have to do laundry for one week. Come on. Three days are fine. No, five days. I will not negotiate any more. Okay, deal. Six. 
Six. Grocery shopping. Quickly, Daddy, we are going to be late. I am coming. Do you bring the list Mommy took note of? Yeah, I took a picture of it. Okay, let's go. We need to buy a lot of things. What are we going to buy first? Let's go to the produce section to buy fruit and vegetables. Which vegetable should we buy? Okay, let's see. We need potatoes, tomatoes, and some oranges. I would like to buy some watermelon. They look so fresh. Okay. Then we need to buy some milk. We are run out of milk. Where should we find milk? Dairy product section. I will go there to collect some. Okay. How would you like to pay? I will pay by credit card. Here you are. Thank you. Hey Thomas, nice to meet you here. Nice to meet you too. Long time no see you. Yeah, I was busy some days. I'm just back to New York last month. Are you going to return home now? Yeah, I am going home now. Do you want to go with us? Sure, thanks. <gasps> oh my God, I think we take Thomas's bag by mistake. Really? Oh, we need to give it back to him. Let me go to his home. Oh, Thomas. Hello again. I think I keep your bag by mistake. Yeah, we just realized it. Ah, uh, here is your bag. Seven. What's for dinner? I'm home. Hi, Mommy. Did you cook dinner, Tony? I would do, but Mommy looks. The refrigerator is empty. Really? Yeah, Tony is right. We were going to prepare pasta and pot roast. Then we realized that we have nothing. It's late now. We are not able to go to market, then cook dinner. Yeah, should we order food online? Okay, what food do you want for dinner? I would like to have a pizza. It's a long time since we don't eat pizza. No, that sucks. So, what do you prefer, Tony? Suddenly, I would like to try Korean food. I have a Korean friend, and his lunchbox looks amazing. That's a great idea. But I don't like Korean food, Mommy. Should we go to eat out? I know a new restaurant. What dishes do they serve? Noodle, hamburger, fried chicken, tacos, and some other fast food? I also know a beefsteak restaurant. I'm not really want to go out now. Should we go to Grandma's house? I remember she invited us home to eat seafood. I don't think it's a great idea. We should tell her in advance to prepare. Okay, I will make a decision. We will order fast food. Choose what you want and then I will book delivery. Great. Yes, mom. Eight, parts of the house. Hi, Kyle. Hi, James. How are you? I'm great. Come in. It's cold outside. It's the first time I visit your house in New York, right? Yeah, this is our new house. Very nice. I like the garden. Yes, we like it too.
This is the living room. That's a big door. Yes. Now, here's the kitchen. Hmm. Did you design this room? No, I just arranged the stuff. Great. Uh, where is the basement? Oh, it's not near here. I'll show you the way to it later, okay? Oh, okay. Now, upstairs, we've got three bedrooms. One for Lana, one for Tony, and one for us. What is that room? It's the guest room. You can stay here overnight. We rarely have guests, so it may be a reading room. I see. Aw, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, and you've got a balcony. Yeah, we really like it. The view is very good. And is that the garage down there? Yes, it is. And then here's the bathroom. Well, it's all very nice. Make yourself at home. See you downstairs. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. I have just called the police. Description An unexpected situation happened when Luke picked up the wrong person at the train station and the police got involved. Watch the video to see what happened and learn how to use the present perfect tense. What are you doing? Don't you see? Cleaning the house. For what? Why are you so hurry? Uh, I forgot to tell you, my sister Ava will come here today. Why? She comes to visit me. She hasn't come here before. Oh dear, when will she come? Why can you forget to tell me that important thing? Huh? You should tell me we can tidy the house. You see, it's so messy. It's okay. Don't worry. No way. We haven't cleaned the house for a week. Right. We should do it now. I have cleaned the kitchen. You can clean up the living room and toilet. So what will you do? Have you taken out the trash? No, I haven't. So I will do it. Okay. What about washing dishes? I have told you that I did everything in the kitchen. Ah, sure. Wait a minute. Who is calling? My sister. She said she was already there. What? She has come really early. Right? She arrived two hours earlier than expected. Yes. But there is one thing. What is that? I have another appointment with my doctor now, and I can't come and pick her up. Can you help me pick her up? Okay. Where is she? She has waited in a cafe shop near the station. But how can I realize her? Because I haven't met her in real life. Do you have any pictures of her? Well, actually, I don't have. But I think it's easy to know who she is. How? Ah, here. She has sent me the address of the cafe shop she is sitting. Great! Send it to me. Is this next to the station? Exactly. And she is pretty tall, but still shorter than us. She has long, reddish-brown hair. Okay, I will go now. I'm just afraid that because I haven't seen her before, I can't realize her. Don't worry. Hi. Hi. Are you waiting for someone? Yeah. And you? Me too. Oh, now we have something in common. <laughs> Can we have coffee together? Okay.
Can I know your name? You can call me Kate. I'm Ava. Oh, Ava, do you recognize that we have the same hair color, the same bag, and styles? Exactly. If anyone doesn't know, they will think we are twins or best friends. But who will come pick you up? I asked my brother to come, but he is busy right now and asks his friend to pick me up. So, are you waiting for your brother's friend? Right. I'm waiting for my brother, and I have waited for him for nearly one hour. Oh, dear. Oh, my phone. Hi, when will you come? I'm waiting for you at a coffee shop near the station. Ah, uh, my friend Luke is quite near you. I have asked him to come and take you to the AB department building. Wait for him. Is that okay? Okay, but what is his name? And the name of the building? Luke and AB department building. Luke? Okay, I remember. I have something to do at this building and I haven't finished it yet. Okay, I got it. Luke? My brother's friend is Luke as well. Really? It's interesting. And AB department is quite familiar, but I don't remember exactly my destination. I'll be right back. Sure. Oh, hi, I'm Luke, your brother's friend. Your brother hasn't completed his work, so he asked me to take you to AB Department Building. Ah, my brother has told me about you. I'm... Oh, it's nearly late right now. Sorry, but because I have some things that needed to be done later, can we go right now? But... Please wait for me at the station entrance. I'll help you get your bag. Okay. What? Where is my bag? I have lost my bag. I'm at the cafe shop next to the station. Can you help me? Hey, Levi. I've already picked up your sister. That's great. Where is she? Here. Didn't you realize your sister? is not my brother. Huh? Right, she is not my sister. What happened? I met her at the cafe shop near the station, as you said. She looks like you described. But you have picked up the wrong person. Well, there's a girl who has hair color like mine. Maybe she is your sister? Do you know her name? Ava. Oh, that's right, she is my sister. Sorry, I have realized the wrong person. Excuse me? Please follow us to the police station. Because we suspect you were involved in a bag lost at the cafe shop. Levi? Ava? Why are you here? I have just called the police because I lost my bag. I have asked Luke, my friend, to pick you up, but he realized the wrong girl. This girl. She is Kate. She waited for someone with me at the coffee shop. Okay, I understand this situation. I got it. Because they have the same destination, and the person who came to pick us up is named Luke. Even though their appearance is quite similar, I've got the wrong person. That's right. Excuse me, after coming here, I realized this was just a situation of misunderstanding. I think I have found my bag. Thank you so much. Okay. Kate, sorry about that. Don't worry, I understand. At the cafe shop, we have mentioned that someone will think we are twins because we are pretty similar. Yeah, because when I came, I was pretty in a hurry, so I haven't asked your name. It's my fault. I have known that Ava was waited for Luke, but I haven't talked to you to check. So, okay, everything is clear. When will your brother's friend come? Oh, my phone is ringing. Are you Kate? 
My name is Luke, your brother's friend. Yes, I'm Kate. Yeah, he hasn't finished his work, so he asked me to come here. Yeah, he has called me before. Why aren't you at the cafe shop? Uh, a small problem has happened, but it's okay now. Good. Where are you now? I'll send you the address, and we can talk later. Is it okay? Okay. I think you will pick me up soon. Bye, Kate. Bye-bye. Let's go, Ava. Luke? Summary We use the present perfect simple when a single past action has a connection with the present. The present perfect is formed with the present tense of the verb, have, has, and the past participle of a verb. Structure Subject plus have, has, plus past participle. Example I have cleaned the kitchen. She has sent me the address of the cafe shop. I have realized the wrong person. I have just called the police because I lost my bag. I don't love you anymore. Um, I want to talk to you about something. Yes, what's wrong? I have thought about this for a long time and couldn't muster the courage until now. You're scaring me. What is this about? It's about us. About us? You and me? I'm sorry to say this, but I just think we are not compatible with each other right now. We have different interests and different views on everything. Mike! I don't see this relationship can go any further. I guess we should... You want to say we should break up? Bella, calm down. No, I can't! Can you tell me why? We are still so fine together. Bella, listen. We have been together for two years, and all of a sudden you are just leaving me like that? Bella, I don't feel the love you have for me. You rarely say sweet words. Mike, I love you very much. It's just that I'm shy to say those words. Why are you shy? We've been dating for two years. But I promise I will change. Is there anything else you don't like about me? You are always jealous for no reason. You don't believe me. No, no, I always trusted you. I never doubted you. So why did you always check my phone? I just want to know. If you don't like it, I promise to change it. I'm really sorry if I hurt or offended you in any way, but I can't continue like this. <laughs> no, this is not happening. Maybe you will find a better guy than me. Please, I love you so much. All of the above defects are modifiable. Sorry, Bella. Do you have another girl? Right. I have someone else, and I'm leaving you. Mike! Why are you doing this to me? It doesn't matter if you believe it or not, because it is real. I hate you! I never want to see you again! Bella, I just bought this cute dress. You have to see it. Hey, what's wrong with you? OMG, why are you crying? Mike and I broke up. What? Mike broke up with me today. Calm down and tell me the details. What is the reason for breaking up? He said that he had another girl. He doesn't love me anymore. Did Mike really say that? Unbelievable. I was also surprised when he said that. I know he still loves me. I can't believe this is true. 
Listen, Bella, keep calm. You know, we've been together for two years. We have had many happy moments. I have thought of being his girl forever. I know, Bella. Maybe sometimes I did check on his phone. Sometimes I got jealous, and I rarely say loving words. But I really, really love him. He has to know that. Aw, oh, Bella. How could he do this to me? It's totally understandable how you feel right now. You are more than enough to be a great partner. Not all relationships last forever, and you don't have to feel guilty or anything. But I love him so much, this is really a shock to me. From what I know about Mike, he is not that kind of person. I think he is hiding something from you. Oh, Kelly, you're right. There must be something wrong. What you need to do now is stay calm and go talk to him again. Thank you so much, Kelly. It's so good to have you by my side. Hey, what are friends for? Hi, Mom. Hi, son. What's the matter? I'm quite tired. Is work very busy? Yeah, there are a few more reasons. Mom, can I talk to you? Of course. Come in. I broke up with Bella. Oh my god! Why is that? I have throat cancer. Oh no! You have cancer? Yes, Mom. I don't want Bella to suffer, so I told her I have someone else. I hurt her. Mike, when did you go to the hospital? Show me your test paper. A week ago, the paper said that I have stage 4 nasopharyngeal cancer. The survival rate is very low. Bella doesn't have to stay beside me. She deserves better. Wait, son, is this your test paper? Yes, that's right. Why are you asking that? Your father has blood type B, and I have blood type AB. How can you have type O blood? Really? So that means I'm not your biological son? No way, Mike. You are my son. Your blood type is A. There must be a mistake. Wait, Mom. When I received the result, I bumped into an old friend. We share the same name and birth date. Maybe we have mistaken our papers. Let's go to the hospital now. Thank God you don't have cancer or anything. Mom, I have to go to Bella's house now. I have to tell her everything before it's too late. That's right. Go to her house now. Bella? Bella? I need to talk to you. Just in time, I want to talk to you, too. For a moment, I really thought you betrayed me and you were a bastard. But Kelly helped me find out that you are not that kind of person. You are hiding something from me, and I deserve to know it. And this time, if you're still saying that, I'll leave you. Bella, I didn't betray you. I love you so much. Please, forgive me. I know you're not that kind of person. So what happened? I thought I had cancer. You have cancer? No, no. It was just a misunderstanding. 
I picked up someone else's test paper by mistake and thought I had cancer. Oh, thank God! I did want you to leave me to find another person. I just want you to be happy. You don't have to suffer a cancer person. Mike, I love you, and I will be with you no matter what happens. Oh, Bella. From now on, tell me everything. I will always be by your side. I can't imagine a life without you. I want to grow old with you. Let's spend the rest of our lives together. Mike. I have had this with me all along, waiting for a perfect chance. But when I thought I had cancer, I was afraid that there would be no chance left for me. After all, I realized that every moment with you is perfect. And I'm not going to waste any of that no more. Bella, will you marry me? Yes, yes, of course. I'll miss you. Me too. Are you sure about going back to live with your parents? Yes, my parents always support and love me. And I just got a job that I love near my parents' house. When do you start working? I'll start work on Wednesday, June 22nd. Good luck with your work. Thanks, Justin. When I have time, I will visit you guys. Stay in touch. Take care. Wish you all the best. Bye, guys. To cut rental costs, we should find a new housemate. Let's find a male housemate. Yeah, Justin and I will have one more friend to watch the sports with. No way. If so, I'm the only woman in this house. We need a female housemate for balance. Whatever, Kelly. At least I have Clark with me. Yo, my bro. You know what, Kelly? What? Being soaked alone is cold. But being soaked with your best friend is an adventure. Whatever. This morning, I met Adam on the bus. Really? Yeah, he'll get married in the autumn. And they will have a wedding in Paris. That's cool. Do you see the TV remote? It's behind you. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. I found our new housemate. Who? This is Emma. Hello, I'm Emma. From now on, I'll live in this house. Emma? What a beautiful name. Hi, beauty. My name is Clark. It's good to see you. And I'm Justin. Hi, Justin. You have smooth hands, like a princess. Have you ever held a princess's hands, Justin? He just had the chance to hold Princess Emma's hand. Never mind, Emma. Please, follow me. Okay. What are you doing? Don't try to get Emma's attention. She is mine. <laughs> Let's see. This is your room. It's pretty. My room is opposite yours. Clark and Justin's rooms are downstairs. 
The bathroom is next to your room. There is also a bathroom downstairs. It's great. You can use all the utensils in the kitchen. There is a mini store behind our house. Is there a supermarket nearby? There is a supermarket on Queen Street. It only takes you 10 minutes by car to get there. Who is sitting on the sofa? She must be an angel. I'm not angel, I'm Emma. Emma is more beautiful than an angel. Have you seen Kelly? She is at school. I want to go to the supermarket, but Kelly seems busy. I can drive you there tomorrow, Emma. Really? Thanks. Does that mean we are dating? Not yet, Clark. Oh. But it's an opportunity for you. Are you hungry? I'm thirsty. Can I make you a lemon soda? Oh, it's perfect to have lemon soda on hot sunny days. Are you free tomorrow night? Um, yes? Would you like to have dinner with me? Where would you take me to? I know a nice France restaurant. Oh, okay. I'll go with you. Great. Oh, it's 1.20 p.m. I have class at 2 p.m. How do you go to school? I go to school by bus. Let me take you to school. Aw, thank you so much. You are so nice. I'm sorry, I left my wallet at home. No problem. I'll pay you back when I get home. You don't have to. But... Instead of paying me back, you'll have a coffee with me at the coffee shop across the street, okay? Okay, Clark. I'm glad to be with you, Emma. You are so kind, like a gentleman. It's nice to be housemates with you. Emma? Yes? Be careful with Justin. He is a genuine player. Is he? He'll change to a new girlfriend every month. He's currently dating Tiffany but he's also flirting with a girl from his school. Really? Shame on him. I'll protect you, so don't worry about Justin. Just be careful and stay away from him. You're different from him. I can feel it. Oops. No, this is my favorite bag. Oh no, Emma. All the money I save goes to courses. How can I buy a new bag? Don't be sad, beauty. I'll buy you a new one. Clark, are you serious? Of course. You deserve it. Aw, Clark. Thank you so much. I think I might have feelings for you. You look so beautiful tonight. You mean other days I'm not beautiful? You are very beautiful in every moment. But tonight, you are more beautiful with me. This place is romantic. I'm glad you liked it. 
Does Clark bother you these days? A little. He often walked back and forth in front of my door. I'm a bit scared. He got dumped by his girlfriend because he was obsessed with her. Justin, I'm scared. Don't worry. Call me whenever you feel like you need help. My phone just broke yesterday. I'm afraid. Don't worry, I can handle that. I'll buy you a new phone. No, I can't. Listen to me, Emma. You deserve it. Oh, Justin, thank you so, so much. I think I might have feelings for you. I bet Emma likes me. I'll confess to her. I'll be her boyfriend. Don't be kidding. I'm the one who will confess to Emma. She likes me more. Sorry? What did you say? Emma hates you, you know. She said you were a bad guy. She was ashamed of you. She said you were a stalker. She was scared of you. Do you even know what you are saying? Let's go out and get this done. Cool, there is an alley outside this bar. Are you sure about this? Coward, are you going to give up? Don't beg my forgiveness. Wait, look! What? Isn't that Emma? What is she doing here? And who is that dude? Oh. My. God. Emma, I have your new phone here. Oh, really? Justin, you are amazing. There are only us here. I want to know, what do you think of me, Emma? You're a generous and caring guy. You're romantic and always treat me well. How about Clark? He is very annoying. He likes a stalker and scares me. What about the man you kissed yesterday in front of the building? What? We already know it all. You are taking advantage of us. You have a beautiful face like an angel, but with a devil's heart. You should leave this house, or you will live here like hell. Okay, whatever. You two aren't as stupid as I thought. Sorry for this stupid thing, Clark. I also have to apologize. I'm almost lost a good friend because of that girl. Don't ever let this happen again, okay? Sure. Shall we watch baseball together next week? Of course, my bro. Did you two make up? Where's Emma? She will never come back here again. What? What smell, William? The chicken wings are burnt. Victoria will have dinner with me tonight. I want to cook some dishes for her. But you can't let your girlfriend eat burnt chicken wings. I'm not a good cook. I'll help you. You're awesome, Mom. Let's start. I'm going to cook an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert. Do you have shrimp? Yes, I have.
Let's peel and devein shrimps. Okay, Mom. We'll cook a party shrimp for appetizers. Great. Now, you thinly slice a garlic clove. Thinly slice. Then, we need a bowl. Here we are. Put one tablespoon of olive oil in a bowl. Add one teaspoon brown sugar. One teaspoon lemon juice. One garlic clove, thinly sliced. Then add half teaspoon paprika. And what should I add? Let me remember. Ah, half teaspoon dried basil. And add quarter teaspoon pepper. Finally, add peeled and deveined shrimp. Now toss to coat by your hand. I do it. Then refrigerate for two hours. After two hours, what will we do with those shrimps? Place shrimp on a baking sheet. Broil them, turn pink, three to four minutes on each side. You're the best, Mom. Thank you. Now the main dish. I want to make grilled chicken wings. Do you have any uh, other chicken wings? Of course I have. Great. First, season the chicken wings. What should I add? Salt and pepper. Okay, Mom. Bake for 40 to 50 minutes depending on their size, flipping once after the first 20 minutes. Sure, Mom. Meanwhile, I'll make the sauce. Melt the butter with the garlic on the stove, then add spices and stir the sauce. The sauce looks delicious. When the wings are done, dip them in the sauce. Then we'll have grilled chicken wings? Yes. What is Victoria's favorite dessert? She likes pancakes. Let's do it. Put two eggs, three quarter cup milk, one teaspoon vanilla in the bowl. Now I whisk eggs, milk, and vanilla together. I want to do something. You will sift flour and sugar into a large bowl. Two cups flour and one third cup sugar. Yes, Master Chef. Two cups flour and one third cup sugar. Where's sugar? Ah, I see. I'm done. How about you, William? I'm done too. Now add this mixture and whisk until just combined. I'll do it. Okay. I'll heat a non-stick frying pan over medium heat. Grease pan with butter. Are you done, William? Here you are. Okay, we use quarter cup mixture per pancake. Cook for about one to two minutes. Then flip the other side and cook until cooked. That's so great. Yeah. Making cakes is easy. Eat pancakes with maple syrup. Yes, you can have extra strawberries and black currants. Perfect. Your girlfriend will love it. I hope so. Anyway, thanks, Mom. Good luck with your dinner. Good evening. Welcome to our restaurant. I already have a reservation. May I know your name? Victoria. Please follow me. Thank you. Tonight we have a shrimp party for appetizers. The main course is grilled chicken wings, the dessert 
is pancakes. Wonderful! And Mr. William wants to say that you are very beautiful tonight. Please, tell him I want to say thank you. I will. Orange juice for you and coffee for Mr. William. I'll start with the appetizer. How do you feel, ma'am? It's so delicious. I like it. And I like you. I know. Hope you enjoy the grilled chicken wings we've made for you. It really suits my taste. I'd like to meet the chef. Oh, one minute, ma'am. I'm a master chef. Nice to meet you. Hello, master chef. I love your food. And I love you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have a boyfriend. He's lucky. Please, try the dessert. Okay. <gasps> the cake tastes salty. Is that the new recipe? Salty? Oh no. Looks like I confused the salt pot with the sugar pot. It tasted strange, but delicious. Really? Yes. When will Mr. William arrive? Oh, one minute, ma'am. Sorry I'm late. The traffic is so bad. Thank you for your dinner. Do you like it? I like it. Especially the pancakes. Let's have dinner. Okay. Oh my god. Coffee is too salty. That's right. Because you added salt. Oh... Giving Compliments in English There are many ways to give compliments to others. Let's follow the conversation between Tracy and Maggie and find out some compliments. Hey, Maggie. Good afternoon, Tracy. What are you doing? Nothing. What's up? Look what I have. What are they, Tracy? I have two tickets to the kids' fashion show. It is a nice show. When is it? On Friday. Would you like to go with me on Friday? Of course, I would love to. Right. What a wonderful show. I am dreaming to take part in it when I was a kid. I used to. It was an extremely amazing experience. As an audience or as a model? As a model. I used to be a kid model. Really? So you used to run for the catwalk at the kids fashion show? Yes, I did. Oh my god. It's so amazing. You are a star. My mom sent me to a fashion club. Then I took part in it with them. But you know... All the kids there were super cool. How were they? Their outfits were unique. They walked on the runway professionally. Was that show monumental? Yes, I remember there were some celebrities coming. I'm so excited. Do you remember any highlights of that night? Absolutely, yes. It was the winter collection part. Everyone expected it so much. And Sam, he was also one of my club members. Hey, that is Sam. He is wearing the main items of the collection. I know, he will be the star of today's show. Wow, look, he looks matching with all his outfits. It looks like being made for himself. Ow! Oop, 
Oops! Oh my god! What happened? He fell down! No worries, he can do it! Oh my gosh, so what did he do exactly? He posed super cute after falling down, the audience applauded him a lot, then he stood up and continued walking. Wow, the boy is so cute. Yeah, there are not many kids can do like him. Wow, how professional he is. At that time, many news wrote about his fall and praised him. You are the best, Sam. Wow, what a great performance. Thanks. Has he been a model so far? No, but sometimes he is still booked for some lookbook. What a pity. We lost a talent. Do you still keep in contact with him? Yes, we still keep in touch. Do you have his picture? I'm so curious about him. Yes, I have. Let me show you. Wow, until now he is still cute. That's right. When he was a kid, he was even cuter. Are there any other things you were impressed with that show? They are a well-coordinated team and a well-designed program. You make me really exciting about Friday night. That's all I remember. I'm looking forward to the Friday night show. Yeah, kids are always cute. What time does the show start? At 7 p.m., but I think we should come soon. Cool. Can you pick me up? Okay, so I will drive. Great. Thank you so much for inviting me. You're welcome. I am happy that I have someone to go with. Thank for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.